Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. As part of this video, under the HDPCD practice exam, I will try to cover the task 5, which is to use HCatalog with PIG. So when they say HCatalog, you just have to launch with HCatalog and you should be able to access Hive tables directly in PIG. And uh, if you go to the question, they are asking to write a PIG script saved on the client machine. So this is the script name. So you have to be under solutions di directory. So I am go going on to the terminal uh, and connected to where I have already connected to the AWS uh, instance. Okay, so I am already in the solutions, home hot and solutions and then I want to create a file slight delays underscore non zero dot peak okay as part of this what they're saying is we should run the peak query using test as the execution engine so you don't need to update anything in the file while executing probably you, you might have to what you have to do is in this case you should launch the pig with test as the execution engine and also you should launch using H catalog okay and then the second uh, line uh, task is load the data from the flight delays table so we have created the flight uh, flight delays table in hive and we have to load it using H catalog so here I am creating the relation called FD equal to load the table uh, flight delays which we have created as part of the earlier tasks is under default database so we don't need to give the database name directly we can give the table name which is delays here and uh, using to access using uh, h catalog you, ha you have to say org.apache.hive.hcatalog.pig. If you don't remember, you have access to the uh, PIG documentation and you can go through it. HCAT loader. But I will recommend you to remember these things because uh, uh, definitely they will ask questions on this. So you need to remember this package name org.apache.hive.hcatalog.pig. Uh, org if you want to load, you use HCAT loader. If you want to store, you use HCAT store under that package. Okay. And then uh, remove any rows where the arrival delay is less than or equal to zero. So again, it's a filtering condition. FDF equal to filter FD by. Okay, our column name is arrival delay. So here we will have schema for the data because we are loading the hive table. So directly we can say arrival delay is less than or equal to zero. So less than or equal to zero. Once that is done, order the output by the arrival delay value descending. Okay, so now we have to order the data. So I am creating FDO for being uh, to make it ordered, and then order FDS by arrival delay descending. Okay. Now what they are saying is store the output as three comma separated files in a new directory in HDFS. Okay, so for that what you have to do is store FDO into copy that location okay and then here you have to give parallel because they are asking to create to store this data into three separate files. Also while storing, they are asking us to store into three comma separated files. So what we have to do, we have to use using uh, big storage because we have to give the delimiter as comma and then we have to use parallel because uh, uh, they are asking to create into three uh, files. So we have to use parallel three here. And uh, if you run this script, it might not work. So first let us quit from the pig. 
and first launch the pig with test and use cat H catalog because they are asking to run it in test engine and then copy paste these four scripts so the first one is to load using the H catalog second one is to filter third one is to order by arrival delay descending and then fourth one is to store into three different files using comma as the delimiter and if you go here and run these four lines we will see what is going on internally okay so now it is copied so dfs minus ls and copy paste hit enter so it should be fs minus ls and there is only one file but they are asking to create the three files that is uh, i think uh, uh, because we are only saying three parallel threads as the final command in this case i am not 100% sure but i think what you have to do is you have to add parallel three here also to create those three files okay after adding here i am not sure whether we have to let us remove from here i think it's only required under order by if if after adding it to order by if it is still not working then we will try to add it to the last one also okay copy paste so you have to make sure that it is working as expected now it is saying the flight delays uh, already exists so fs minus rm minus r give this path to delete this directory and now run the store command because the rest of the stuff is already copied only the final one failed and we will see how uh, it will create the files now we can go back to the history to do dfs minus ls or fs minus ls you can see the three files so to create um, multiple files you have to use parallel hint on the reducer uh, not uh, sorry on the order by not on the store store uh, actually the store syntax does not even have that parallel clause but in this case it's not failing if you are not sure about uh, how to do this uh, where to put the parallel three there is a uh, small tip what you can do is instead mm -hmm. of doing this i am commenting out this one and deleting parallel 3 from here and uh, what we can do is you can say set default parallel you have to very careful with the spellings parallel 3 okay now what we will do is we will uh, exit again quit then run the pig x pig minus x test remove the directory first and then copy paste these lines and then we will validate okay there is a typo hash is not the valid comment i think in pig the valid comment is slash slash okay now it is created now you can see the fs minus ls command result and you can see the three files so make sure you set default parallel to three at the time of certification or whatever number they give so that you don't need to worry where to put parallel and where not to put parallel and also make sure there are no uh, syntactical errors we will remove the directory again and we will test our script to see if it works so exit pig minus f flight delays non zero dot pig there is some error in this 
so what you need to do is you have to comment out to validate your script and after validating either you can uh, uncomment it or you can leave it i'm not sure how they will be evaluating your uh, scripts in that solutions folder if they uh, if they run through automated process yeah probably they will use that pig minus x test and uh, use hcat log as long as your script have valid syntax it might run if they manually validate also probably they will mark it as correct but i'm not 100% sure whether you should comment out this one or not but if you comment out you will not be able to test the script okay so before testing let me first delete this folder yes. hadoop ss minus rm minus capillar and it will delete the directory and now you can say pig minus x test minus use hcat log because we have commented out that line unless you do this it will not use the test engine and also it will not be able to load the uh, table into that relation the first relation and then you can say minus s flight delays non zero dot pick and hit enter now it will run successfully and then we will validate whether it has created three pa three files or not because that is the requirement of the question so the way we have done is we have set default parallel to three if you are not sure about where to put the parallel three in these kinds of questions just set at the top uh, set uh, the default parallel as three for the entire script uh, no matter if it if it is required or not uh, for certain operators okay now finally we will do hadoop ss minus ls on this location and see if there are three files to wrap up this question also So we can see the three files here. So that being said, we have completed 50% of the uh, questions um, so far and we will proceed further and try to answer all the questions in future videos. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about certifications or big data, please use my LinkedIn group called ITVersity hyphen certifications or ITVersity hyphen big data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.